Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. And this is my first actual crazy thing, I think. I don't think any of the other stuff counts as particularly crazy, uh, but this is suitably crazy. Uh, I don't have all the parts that I would like to make something like this, but I did the best I could. And so here we have Spaceship One. Uh, we have the big radiators, solar panels, everything's extended right now. Uh, we've got a deployable scanner, we've got the gravioli thermometer. Oh, I forgot the barometer on the other side. Let's do that. And the goal here is we're going to go to Joule and get all the science, right? Uh, we've got the goo, we've got the science junior, we've even got a sentinel for some reason. And uh, yeah, of course, science lab. We've got the ISRU unit if we want to do that, uh, if we want things to dock to it. They can dock at these docking ports, one on each side. And uh, so this is probably not going to dock to other stuff because that sort of docking location is inconvenient, but we do have thrusters just in case and plenty of RCS tanks. Yes, uh, uh, those were the biggest RCS tanks I've got. <laughs> so I'm lacking in certain parts. Uh, I have made my first use of simple robotic things. We've got a hinge here, so let me pack it up. Now we're going to retract the scanner, reduce the target angle there. This is a piston, so we're going to de-extend that for launch, of course, and then retract the solar panels and radiators. We do also have little RCS ports in the back. I put them on cubic octagonal struts so they don't blow directly at the solar panels there. And same with the bottom ones there. And uh, the bobcats up here are angled because they, can, they should be able to point through the center of mass a little bit better, making sure the thrust is pointed through the center of mass without too much gimbling. And we have the mainsail here. And as you can see, this fellow uh, gets uh, 3,878 meters per second in vacuum, so it can get to orbit. <laughs> that would be important. Uh, though uh, we don't really want those firing or anything. Let me just fix that a bit. Oh, well, yeah, that's vacuum. This, yep, yeah, okay. So, yes, that is correct. And so we are going to need refueling for this if it's going to get all the way out to Joule. And we're going to have to dock the refueler to it. And that is the plan. So we're going to get this over to Minmus. But just to get it over to Minmus, if it's just like this, is not good enough, right? We don't have enough Delta V. So I'm going to put boosters. And uh, let's just save it here in this form. And then I'm going to switch editors, toss it this way around. Now, I realize that the cupola is going to create a lot of drag. It's our only reaction wheel on here, by the way. And we don't have a controller. This has to be crewed. <laughs> uh, much to every Kerbal's dismay. So, yeah, that's just how it's going to be. And... The boosters, well, we could put them back here, but they're not going to extend far enough. So, And if we put them here, they're going to be offset this way. But maybe I can mitigate that. Stylishness has hurt us a little bit. But, yeah, maybe I can tilt these. We need the boosters a little bit closer to the center of mass. And let's just get the biggest one we's, ones we've got. Uh, thoroughbreds. Oh, the, the Pox ones are thinner and taller. I feel like maybe that's more what we want to go for. Those thoroughbreds are too bulky. Okay, and I'll strut these to grandparent part. Which means those tanks, which isn't the most stable. They are strutted. Let me just, just in case, strut these to root part. I always use these decouplers. Uh, I never use the ones closer in because I'm just too afraid of things hitting the body. Uh, but I will scooch them in a little bit here. At least so their remnants do not remain. We still... Uh, did we get Separatrons? Got the Might. They still don't have separatrons, unless they're in some other category. It's amazing what I don't have right now. Well, 4,531. In theory, that might work to get to Minmus, but it seems like it's a little bit underwhelming. But that's a very healthy thrust-to-weight ratio to start off. 
Well, let's say we try it out, huh? I mean, it's science mode. It'll be science. <laughs> Figuring out whether this survives or not will be science. Um, the Kerbals are in a distinct position of not being able to survive if this doesn't actually survive. I think, I mean, we have to send a scientist, so Bob. And let's just skip Bob in the processing lab. Um, Marfield will be our pilot in the cupola. Now the drag will be a problem. Well, hmm. Maybe we should just have a controller. <laughs> I'm getting second thoughts here. Uh, it's, it's better just to have a controller and then later on maybe we should just block that. I mean uh, it's fine if we have these windows, right? They don't have to have that window. Well, we don't have enough power generation. I should have put more of that. I mean, power storage, not generation. Oh, uh, we could put the launch escape system for the heck of it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, we could make this escapable. And preserve the window. So we'll have a pilot in here. And if we have one of these decouplers, the window still works. And then we can decouple off the launch escape system. And then if we have... Oh, the RCS thruster is a little bit awkward in this case. If we have a decoupler here... This is just for emergencies. Then we can have this parachute down. Let me just put these on here. This has mob propellant inside, so it could be like an escape vessel for one person. <laughs> I, I guess in an emergency they could cram inside. Okay, there. It's now 100% safer. Alright, one Kerbal inside for now. And it will be Marfield. Marfield Kerbin. Okay, let's go. Well, it hasn't fallen apart yet. We'll have to do a roll. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and launch. Oh, oh no, the, the, the boosters are too powerful. The boosters are too powerful. No, abort, abort, abort. Okay, we need to tune down the boosters a bit. Well, Marfield gets to enjoy the ground scatter here at the Space Center. Okay, so... Center of Thrust... I mean, it looks really balanced. Right? Maybe I should put some fins or something. I mean... Maybe it's a little bit off to the side here. I'll I'll just go with what we saw and throw all these down a bit. They'll hurt our Delta V. Let's try it again. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and go. Oh, uh, come on. You can you can avoid doing this. I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, I'm gonna roll this way. Uh, okay, we're going to have to just move the boosters. I'm just going to revert. I mean, the tower can get a lot of drag, so that's this that too. The one with the Sentinel telescope and everything. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and go. We better not perfect, but I think it might be controllable. Barely. For science! <laughs> I should have action group. Well, I can action group everything later. I should have action grouped the science. Oh boy.
Oh no! Oh no, not that! No! Okay. Well, we've still got the boosters though. Okay, we need we need more aerodynamics. I mean, we can save more field and it'll all explode, but let's just get to it. Fine. I mean, I had thought about putting more fins and such on the body and everything. SAS on, throttle up. I'm gonna try and keep it closer to prograde as well, but it's really hard with this. I'm trying to go higher first. Okay, well, I'm not through the speed of sound yet. Now we're through the speed of sound. Okay, well, through max Q and everything. Doesn't mean we're balanced. Doesn't we're, 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 does not mean we're balanced. Uh, we just need the boosters to go up. Okay, and but the boosters have to go out while we're pointing at prograde, otherwise they'll slam into the body. So I have to wait and then release. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try and get over here. Going a little bit too high. Well, I think my bid to have enough fuel to transfer to Minmus is probably not... Oh, well, we're losing that thing. Oh, shoot, we're turning all over the place. It's probably not working out for us. I don't suppose Marfield could level up so she could point out prograde for me. That flame on the mainsail is probably wrong. <laughs> I, I really need to get the stock waterfall effects in. I've got waterfall, I just didn't get the stock effects package. Because I didn't find it on Seek. I mean, it's on Seekan somewhere, I just didn't see it for some strange reason. Okay. Okay, we haven't quite made orbit yet, but. I had enough of that. Considering how much the reaction wheel is using, I'm surprised we still have electric charge. Well, you know, we needed to bring some extra kerbals up anyway. I should have put lights. <laughs> anyway, we're fully deployed. It's always something. And that something usually is lights. I'm actually going to use RCS to turn in this case. It's just too frustrating otherwise. Anyway, we could do with using some of the mob propellant up. Okay, deliberately in a high-ish orbit to make it easier for the next vessel to rendezvous with this. I'm going to open up the docking ports. And we're going to send up one of the Mark 1-3 pods to bring up crew. But also we need to bring up fuel. So to get the additional crew as well as fuel over to the ship, I've got this refueler. Uh, we will bring the command pod back down, but the expectation is it's coming down empty. We do have a controller on it. And then this locked fuel here. There is a terrier here uh, for our on-orbit maneuvers to get to the ship, but most of the fuel, of course, will not be used for that. It will be transferred into the ship. And I expect that this fuel will be enough in order to get the ship over to Minmus. And at Minmus, it will be refueled by all the stuff from the ground. So the ore refueler. And otherwise, we have a stage here with four skippers and then boosters. So uh, I will put some kerbals in. Not these three. Well, Bob. We'll send Bob to Jewel. How about that? Yeah. Let's just have two scientists. So Calden. Okay, maybe right about now. Spaceship One is right there. SAS on. Throttle up. And... Launch. Ooh, I should have started the boosters. Wow, they all look disturbed. Bob Nerian called them down there. We've got a launch escape system and everything. Oh, but did I have parachutes on this? Maybe not. Okay, booster is set. 
They have auto destructed. Yeah, I forgot parachutes. So, yeah, they, they, they were right to be worried. Looks like this bot is not going to be. I'm not going to be recovered, but it's alright. I don't have a budget anyway. Well, launch escape system jettison. Alright, I think this stage will be expended and be kept suborbital. It's going to help us do a bit of the inclination correction because of the wobbliness in the ship's launch and that being a little bit off the normal trajectory out of the space center. Okay, I think I'll let it deal with it there. Unlock this fuel. Keep in mind, we still don't have the big orange tank. You know, the Jumbo 64. That's why we're using two of these like this. Yeah, it's really gonna be skimming the atmosphere. Okay, I'll take that. But yeah, really tight to the atmosphere on the periapsis side. We have limited electric charge here. No solar panels or anything. Ah, uh, this still didn't have the hex on. I should have put the hex. Now, we're not at a jewel window yet. I'll figure that out after we get the ship refueled at Minmus. Well, these are both ships, so I should be allowed to use the lazy way. That is, I have this one turn as well. Okay, I have docked. Let's transfer some crew. To the mobile processing lab. Was it Calden or Neri? Uh, Calden. And then Neri to the hitchhiker storage container. Technically, these side ones here were meant to be bunks. That's meant to be where they sleep. And actually, the reason why those are placed lower is because I didn't want to obstruct the science lab's windows and also the hitchhiker storage containers windows so yep that's why they're placed like that there is a logic it isn't just trying to be fancy though that's important too the expectation is that we're eventually going to have some sort of tender over at jewel to refuel this as well okay i'm gonna send that little amount back into this one so it can deorbit Though probably it could deal with just with the mob propellant, but that could take a while. Alright, off it goes. Doesn't have anybody inside. And I'm not going to try to recover the pod since I didn't have any parachutes on. We'll just deorbit to get rid of it. And go. Alright, pretty decisive. So this now has 1,524 which seems like enough to go to Minmus and capture, so let's do that. Now try for this ascending node here. We actually have a seven degree difference. Uh-oh, the moon. Oh, the moon is totally getting in the way of using that node. Okay, well, this sort of a moon to Minmus. Let me try and fine tune that. I think I'll take that for now. So we're going to fly by the moon and also get over to Minmus. Be going a little bit fast, but should be okay. Could have sworn I put the hex core on. Oh, this doesn't even have a core. Okay, we need to be able to get our Kerbal properly. Uh oh, what, why is this? Oh, it, we're, we're controlling from the docking port. Ah, uh, control from here. No, we missed the node and it's a very sensitive node. Okay, I'm gonna replot it. Hmm. 
Well, it seems like we fixed our inclination quite a lot because <laughs> we I, I didn't really intend to, but we basically did a normal burn instead of a prograde burn. Okay, well now it's just straight to Minmus. Well, that's pretty darn close to Station 1. 4.4 kilometers right there. But we don't really need to be close to Station 1. <laughs> because we just need the refueler. Okay, so that's in two minutes now. Is there any way we can upgrade our crew? I could have sworn I had settings. Um, I just want Kerbals to level up immediately. I guess Marfield has to do a few more things before leveling up. Now, I'm aware that the antenna is not going to be able to transmit stuff all the way from Jewel. We don't have a bigger antenna. I didn't want to put a whole lot of antennas on this, but we'll figure that out later. Okay, well, pretty stable. With the two bobcats and the mainsail. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, uh, not quite right. RCSing the correction. Okay. Uh, that might be a little bit close. All right. All right, head over to Minmus with our big ship. Well, I still want to be in line with the station. With the descending note right there, at least we can correct it while we capture. Okay, it looks like our Kerbal got an advancement and got prograde and retrograde, but not radial, unfortunately. Well, I'm going to use RCS to turn here. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Alright, so with an option for an encounter right there. Right, to periapsis. Okay, it's a weird burn, but that's because I wanted to match orbits with the station, so here we go. Okay, that's good enough, that's good enough. Okay. So we're ready for a rendezvous with the station. A little bit closer there. But really, we want the station's fuel. And the thing that could transfer the fuel is currently landed on the surface. So next time I'm gonna have to sort all that out. For now, we're just gonna leave this here. It has made orbit around Minmus. As far as the jewel window is concerned, and we'll have to exit from Minmus to Jewel, but I can do that. Um, we're nowhere near. We're going to have to go like three quarters of the way around or a little bit more. So three quarters of a Kerbin year before we can actually transfer to Jewel. So we'll be hanging out here for a little bit. But they'll give Spaceship One its shakedown cruise. All right. So let me try and orient it a little bit better just for looks. I suppose it could probably do some bonus science here, and while we're here, maybe I can hop over to the station to see what I can transmit. But we could just wait until later for that. So, here it is around Minmus, and we will do even crazier things once I have a lot more parts, but this is the first thing. So with that, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.